Hello, and welcome back to MTG Exile. So, we went through the first 12 packs yesterday. We're back with some more packs today. And, yeah, we had quite good pulls from yesterday's 12 packs. We had, I think it was 9 from the first 6, and about 11 or 12 from the, the second 6. So, averaging 10 plus which is good because the first the core 2020 box we only had about we had exactly 50 cards that were any good so um yeah this is uh looking looking a lot better and hopefully you begin the sound coming through nice and uh, loud as well so yeah all looking good yeah. okay so without further ado let's look at the cards Alright, so as we said, we've got our packs 13 to 18. Uh, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oops, 6 per episode. Uh, I think we'll start with this one. We'll just move back. Don't forget to take the time, because I wouldn't need to know. <laughs> yeah, when we play, when we play uh, game, uh, Magic together, um, I keep saying, you know, you gotta, you got to tell me what's on the card, because 1... I'm new to all this. Two, I'm old and cannot read upside down. Oh, and three, I can't see. Foil human token. Oh, we got we've got a human soldier, uh, and we got a foil gift of strength. You might want to zoom in a little bit. Yeah, let's get let's get this down uh, nice here. Bang. Okay. All right. So we got a one-one human soldier token, and we got. A gift of strength, which is a three-three. Uh, it's an instant, and it gives play uh, a creature plus three, plus three, and gains reach into land of turn. It costs two. And we got for our land, we got a swamp. Uh, nice uh, constellation up there. So what we got here? We got a foil. So swamp. I'll leave it. Nice. Okay. And a human. I thought it was a human foil. Yeah. What is this for, again? Oh, a book. It's, it's a book you can buy. Oh. Yeah, I have all the Spark series. <coughs> and <laughs> just a plain so plain old swamp. Oh, so let's deal with Okay. Constellation art. Do you know what? That, that, that links again into Guild Wars. Because Guild Wars, um. My gosh, not Nightfall. I wonder they. Oh my god, I haven't played it for so long, I think. See, they had. Um, one of the expansions for Guild Wars was was all to do with Celestial and, and Sky as well. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so first we got. Oh, hold on. Uh, focus. We got Chain to Memory, which is a one, inst uh, one mana instant. Uh, for a target creature gets put minus four, minus zero into land of turn, and you get scry two. Oh. oh. Let's move that like that. Okay. Thaumaturge is, uh, familiar. One, three, for two with flying. When it enters battlefield, you get a scry one. So, I, I believe there's a lot of scrying in this. There we go, we've got bigger there now. Aspect of Manticore. Uh, so Flash. So, you cast at any time. Enchant creature, one uh, aspect of Manticore into battlefield. Enchant creature, enchanted creature gains first strike into land of turn. Enchanted creature gets uh, gets plus two plus zero. It uh, costs three. Moss Viper, one one for one with death touch, just like the sad scorpion in the other one, but this is a snake. Relentless pursuit. Real top four cards you like with. You may put a creature card and and or land card among them with your hand. Put the rest in your graveyard. That's that's pretty good because that is. Well, well, don't rush it. Oh. No, I'm not. Uh, you may put a creature card and or land. Some some of them you they say one or the other. Yeah. So that's giving you the choice of either or both. That's good if you if you were like me today. I was we played two games today. And for for both the games, well, most of the time I was on just one card in my hand. 
Um, so that would have that would have boosted it up a little bit. Good, good. I like that. Captivating unicorns, a four four for five with constellation. Whenever enchantment come ETBs, which is into the battlefields, and you control tap target creature and opponent controls. Underworld Charger, Nightmare Horse. I like that. that that's nice art. Three three for three. It can't be. It, it, well, it can't block. It has escape. Uh, pay five exile three other cards from your graveyard. Uh, and we'll charge it escapes with two plus one plus one cards. Vaxen skull, uh, vaxen goal. Two two for three with flash and flying. That's not too bad. No. I said like keep it in your hand card. Uh, Scopus war leader. Uh, four five for five. Pay one red, sacrifice another creature and all enchantment. Uh, Scophus War Leader gets plus one, plus zero, and gains menace until end of turn. Menace? Yeah. It, is it can't be blocked by two. Uh, it's going to be two or more. It's got to be two. Like two or more creatures. Yeah. Glimpse of Freedom. Uh, it's a two mana instant for just draw a card. And it escapes for two, uh, for three, and you exile five other cards from your Five game. other cards. That's not what That's you're No? Draw a card and then. Yeah, but if you. For, 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 for three, the escape can exile five other cards. Yeah, 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 I suppose so. Okay. I was thinking of. Put them back into your hand. No. No. That would be awesome. Set us in the petitioner. Well, I play persistent petitioners, so this is a citizen petitioner. That's how you wrap me up today. Yeah. <laughs> it's the 2-2 two, two for 3. A uh, human druid. When it, ended, when it ETBs, you gain life equal to the devotion of the queen. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty good. And I'll wait. Wait, no. Uh, last but one. The escape velocity. And, of course, it has escape. Uh, one red in or enchantment, enchant creature, enchant creature gets plus one and uh, plus one plus zero, and has haste. Escape for two and exile two other cards from your library. You may cast this card from your graveyard for its escape cost. Mm. Is that temple worth it? Plenty. So here's here's another temple. Temple of plenty. We had plenty of temples in our last uh, booster box. Uh, the last set opening. This is Squareland. Cool. Yeah. A good start then. Yeah. Nice. Let's go to the next one. I think you'd have to move a little bit closer. Yeah. The mic. So, let's get this open. Yeah. And these were, this is quite a stubborn one. Does that mean it's good? Do you know? I think it's all rubbish. People say, oh, some, some of them are easy to open, they've got good cards. Some are hard to open, <laughs> that means they're good cards. I think it's just a case of... I said that last episode, one of the last episodes. There we are. Come find us on YouTube. Come find us on YouTube as well. Oh, you have. <laughs> Come find us on Facebook. We're on Facebook and Twitter as well. Uh, quite at the moment. Just building up, but. Have you start this no, no. Um, so this is another human soldier. We're building up an army, isn't it? And. Uh, land or foil? Oh, I wonder. Oh, we can also land or foil. I think. I don't know. Uh, good feeling. I think I'm yeah. Just land. Oh my god. You know that card you wanted that we drew yesterday? What, Galakos? It's not that. I know. It's just a plain old island. It's I was like, if you had a foil Galakos, I'd play. <sighs> Never mind. Okay. If we have a foil anything, I'd we'll cry. Oh, Omen of the Hunt. So that, that is Nylia. Hmm? Nylia, the green god. 
in flash enchantment for three. On when, uh, when it ETBs, you may search your library for a b basic land card. Put a battlefield tapped and shuffle your library. You may pay three, sacrifice it, and scry two. What do you think of that card? Uh, I'm not fussed on it. No. I don't play green, so not my cup of tea. I play green if it's like synergize with something else, and not mono green. Flicker of fate. Good card. Yeah, exile target creatures or enchantment. Then return it to the battlefield <laughs> under its owner's control. <laughs> so you take it off the battlefield, then put it back on again. So anything that oh, it's on there saying when this end is the battlefield, do this is all repeated. So <coughs> you could cast that if something. Uh, so you've got a card that says when this card enters the battlefield, or all all creatures are plus one plus one. Yeah. So if you played this card, uh -huh. would that mean you would come off the battlefield and then go back on, and then that would repeat? Yeah. That. And you could you could use the card to get that back as well. Oh. Do it again. That's a pretty good card. We've had this last. We've week. had, yeah. If, uh, we, if we if we go through one or two, we'll mm -hmm. tr we'll try and go through as many as we can. But some are repeats like Just two or three sure. times. They'd be on the uh, the previous videos. All the previous packs. <laughs> the previous yeah. Lampard of Death Vigil. Hmm. What we saying about that one? So it's two. Yeah, it's it's creature, one three for two. Loses each creature. Uh, each opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. You have to come close to the mic. Hello. Mm. So what are we saying about that one? Sacrifice creature. Each opponent loses one life, and you, and you gain, gain one life. life. So that's good if you, I suppose, if you play in commander with multiple people. Yeah, like. If you're playing with four, four people. Four, right. <coughs> okay. Funeral rites. That's that is just a rubbish. <coughs> that's a rubbish art. It's just I gotta a say. dead person. It's, it's rubbish. It's rubbish. Oh, great. Okay, so three. Uh it's all three. And you draw two cards, lose two life, and put the top two cards to the library <coughs> into your graveyard. I think that's a waste of time, isn't it? Draw two cards, lose two life, and put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. But you can, <coughs> you can recur them. You can rec recur the cards. So, that'd be pretty good if you could recur them. Well, that's, that's the only way it's good. Starlet Mantle. It's a two mana or enchantment for flash. Have we had this one before? I think we, we had, had it the last episode, but not this time today. Enchant creature control. When it does the battlefield, yeah, this is what I thought about with the, that other card. <coughs> Enchanted creatures gain hexproof until end of turn. Yeah. And enchanted creatures gain plus one plus one. So this is pretty much exactly what I was talking about in the last uh, a couple of cards ago. Yeah. Irreverent revelers. Two. Two for three. Sata with one ETBs, choose one, destroy target artifact, or it gains haste until under two. Mm, that destroyed target artifact would be quite handy, I suppose. Yeah, playing red. Voracious Typhon, had this last episode, very iconic. Three. Yeah. Four, four for four. Uh, escape uh, for seven. Well. Excel four other cards from your graveyard. Oof. Yeah, it escapes with three plus one plus one counters on it. Though. Well, that's pretty good. Pretty good. But I, I don't like I don't like the escape. So that could be good. <laughs> um, <laughs> that could be good. Like if I if I'm in a good position mm -hmm. with my um, Galda. Yeah. And well, I can just slowly keep adding them on there. Triumphant surge, instant, destroy target, destroy target creature with power four or greater. Oh, 
white white is good that, that that would be that would be bad that's very bad against mm -hmm. me against you, yeah because yeah, if, play if somebody if somebody played that against my commander i would cry <laughs> Oh. Wow. Did you see where it was? No, I didn't see the back card yet. Uh, Soul Reaper of Moggies. Moggis. Moggis. Two, three for three. Pay three. Sacrifice creature. Draw a card. Oh. We'll be right back, guys. Bab is awake. She's coming for us. <laughs> Look at her here. Come here, Bob. So we're so we doing this needy midnight then, little and decides she wants to wake up. Poppy, you tired? Do you want, do you want to go back on the settee? House and do a ning for you? Yeah? Oh, okay then. There we are, we've got an extra, we've got an extra player. Go and lie down on the, on the, on the settee. Okay, so what do you think of this? Underworld fire deals one damage to <coughs> each creature and each planeswalkers. If a permanent dealt damage this way would be would die this turn. Exile it instead. Go and push down with the uh, spot. Go on the other one, babe. Go on. Okay then. <laughs> the Hassan, do you Ning? Uh, Ning is a is a bottle. Be right back, guys. So <clears throat> I'll go slowly through these, and he can he can come behind and clear it. So it's a bottle over there on the table. Okay, so. So where we are. Um So if a permanent dealt damage this way would die this turn, exile it instead. Mm, that's interesting. Seems it like deals one damage to each creature. So if you had some token creatures, I think. If you had some like one one token creatures. Then this would be quite handy to uh, knock quite a few, quite a few of them out. But we'll we'll get that confirmed now in a minute from uh, from my mentor. I don't mind having Harrison as somebody who can teach me, although he's a bit coy. He doesn't want me to know too much. I think it is. He he keeps he keeps the cards very close to his chest. But I think when he realizes I'm going to start going to magic with him and not just yes. drop him off, then I think, you know, he'll want me on his side. But who knows? But what he's waiting, we, we, did have, we did have two games today. We played two games. And I think the one game was like three, three and a half hours. It just went on and on and on. And it was just a very slow game. And, uh, yeah, I just run out of cards. And the second game, I run out of cards as well. Um, but this, the, the second game, we kept playing these four... Um, what were the cards? Persistent? 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 This is a bit of a tongue twister. Persistent Petitioners. And he had four of them. Because you can't have four, and it says on the card you can have four in Commander. And every turn, one of his cards was dealing was making me discard uh, two off my off my uh, of psychic corrosion was make me put two into my graveyard. Then, then there was an, uh, the other four made me draw another twelve. So it was it was it was very. Um, it reminded me a bit like 
when I was playing, this is, this is so many an analogies. When I was playing Guild Wars, you had something called a vampiric weapon, and basically, you, you, you would use it to wield damage, but over time, you would just zap your, your life. And, and this is what it is, because, like, whatever I try to do an attack with, as I'm playing my moves, I know that at the start of the next turn for him, then it will be a case of I'm down by 14 life points. Um, so, you know, I did have a couple of cards that, that give me, like, the, the plus 10 uh, life, uh, and there was another one. I uh, can't remember the names because my memory's rubbish, but, um, yeah, it, it wasn't the... Uh, it wasn't very pretty. And I was actually down to my last one single card. And the last card was an artifact which says, look through your, look through your deck, look through your, your cards uh, to find a, a, a land. And, and I'm like, no, this is the last card. I can't exactly look for anything. Else. Yeah, that was it. Um... But yeah, it, it, it was a it was a, an interesting game. Get in there, dog. I do not want that in here. She's trouble. You okay there now? Good girl. Have you got a spot? Yeah. Good. So let's let's check this out now. Right then. This card. I th I'm thinking this would be good to play if the opponent had loads of token hit, like one, one ones. One yeah, and and this would just wipe basically wipe them out. If you play uh, green, red, then you'd be able to do that. Okay. Hi guys. Yeah. So confi Ooh. confirmed. Confirmed. Oh. I'm doing this. No, 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 I'm no. I'm holding this down. I'm holding no, this no, down. I, 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 I'm fine. I'm oh, fine. Oh, we got the, we got the I'm reflection. Fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. The reflection guy. Re the reflection guy. Yeah. Legendary know. creature. So this is. Alirios. Enraptured. Okay. Two, three, four, three. Then it's about to tap. It doesn't untap. Uh, doing, your untap step unless if you control a reflection. When you, uh, when you, when it enters the battlefield, create a reflection. Okay. Create a 3 2 blue reflection creature token. When it enters the battlefield. So if we use this with that other token, which says, um, XL cards and bring them back, would, would that apply again? So we would create another 3 2. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, I think we're peeled. I I really do think we're peeled. So, sleeve that one up. Mm -hmm. Phalanx tactics. Instant. Target creature you control gets plus two plus one until the end of turn. Each other creature you control gets plus one plus one until the end of turn. So that's pretty good. Each other, cr so this would be a good to have if you like. For me, if I if I had green white, I could build that up quite quite easily. So what do you think, we guys? This is the last card now. I think we have Heliod. Well, no, it's not Heliod. It's an artifact creature of some sort. Oh, it's oh, colourless. It is. Oh, right. Shadow Spear. Legendary equipment. Is that, is that a foil? It's not a foil, is it? No. It's just very glossy, these I cards. I think this is... What's his name? Uh, the Black God. Not Morgan Freeman. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Morgan Freeman, the Black God. Like in... Uh, Samuel L. Jackson. Not, no, Morgan, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman, yes. He's in Evan Almighty. Yes, yes. Yeah. It, I forgot his, uh, what the name was. So it's from the set, but that's its weapon. One mana, equip creature gets plus one plus one, and has trample, trample and lifelink. So remind me again, trample and lifelink. Trample. trample. Uh, 
when you block it, it still deals the extra uh, the damage that wasn't blocked. So, so if you if you attack with a five five and the opponent has a three three and they block your five five, so if I two uh, damage goes. Okay. So if I attacked if I attacked you uh, Mu yeah. with a five five. Yeah. I, I it would kill it. I block with my Mu and you kill it four. and deal me four. Good. Uh, and lifelink again. Lifelink, you deal damage to someone. Say if you did two damage to a creature or a player, you you gain two uh, two damage, uh, two life back. So okay. pretty good. Oh wait, wait, and an extra thing on it. Oh, well, extra oh, bonus. Uh, pay one. Pay minutes you control. Lose hexproof. Or pay minutes your opponent's control. Lose hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. And it has an equip cost of two. So I think that should be sleep. That's a good card. Yeah, uh, well, so if you've got a card which has got indestructible, okay. I can get rid of it, like, even though it, like everything else in the game says it's got to stay there. Yeah. Well, damage can be dealt to it, just like, like what's it called? This card can't be dealt to it. It, it can't <coughs> say destroy. Spells can't say destroy. Okay, we're going for another hound. This one's good. Well, it might be good. I don't know. Uh, what we got? Sator. Oh! We've got a foil. Constellation art. Uh, Daxos blessed by the sun. That is, that that is, that is that looks beautiful. nice. I like that artwork. That is flesh. That's. It. That was a revolting. It's foil. So let's get rid of that card. And constellation. I think this is my favourite one we've ever pulled from this set. Forget Dalakos, Daxos. So that is a bit, that is a bit hard to read. I think we have to. Uh, if we lift this up, it's a bit, a little bit clearer, maybe. If I sleeve it, it's got less gloss. No, no, that's fine. Because it's, we just gotta get that. There okay. we are. It's a legendary enchantment creature. It's a demigod. Its toughness is equal to your devotion to white. Whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, you gain a life. Whenever another creature you control, yeah, another creature enters or dies. Or dies. So it, if it enters and dies, you gain two life. That's a that's a monster card. Especially in this, it's foil and promo. So I could put this. I wouldn't have to use this as my commander. Are, are you I can still put it in my deck. Are and you just thinking play of going to into, into green white now? I don't know. Uh, going I'm, to every I'm color. thinking about going to every color. Yeah, that is. Look at that foil. That's lush. The colors on it, and the artwork is. It is some some like some of the artwork. I have been a bit critical of some of it. Some of it is, is really is really crap. To but that is. Beauty, wrap that one up. <laughs> I could devil's leave it. That's my favourite one we've ever pulled. We are doing really well. We, we, we haven't even done the pack yet. Oh, we haven't. My <laughs> God, Look, this, we could have. We could have been forest. Forest. Is there one? I like that forest. They're very, they're very nice. It's really a possibility. It's an additional cost to cast this spell. Discard a card. You know what I said before this? I don't think this one's good. You want to rethink it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, instant for two. Additional spell, uh, there's no cost to cast a spell, discard a card. You know, this in the last episode when I go see that, and it says draw a card, uh, draw two cards. Plummet, classic Don't card. Throw my cards around, thank Re you. Reprinted. Uh, destroy target creature with flying, a two, uh, two costing instant. You know, there could be something decent in there still. Sun main Pegasus, two, three, fifth, four. Another nice artwork, I've got to say. <coughs> Has flying. Pay two, it gains vigilance and lifelink until end of turn. Vigilance. Yeah. That is. It doesn't attack when you ta attack with it. Okay, wrapping the flames. Uh, pay f four, it deals one damage to each of those. Each of up to three target creatures. Those creatures can't block this turn. That's very good if you've got Some them little, people. them little mm -hmm. one one humans or one one whatevers. Uh, two four for four. Uh, of a three, sorry. Uh, Centaur Scout, vanilla. 
Doesn't do much. Pin them down. Another vanilla. So that's it. Two next spawns. Another vanilla. Again, nice artwork. Uh, two, four, two, four. Four, three, four, four. But yeah, ultimately. Ichthyomorphosis. It's easy for you to say. Ichthyomorphosis. It's like a dinosaur. It is. Ichthyo. Yeah. Ichthys. Ichthyomorphosis. It's godfish. Uh, enchanted creature. Enchanted creature loses all abilities and is a blue fish with base power and toughness. Not f or not one. Hashtag useless. Hashtag fish. It's not. Enchanted creature. Enchanted opponent's creature. What do you want in this? It, what do you play this in your deck? Probably. So you were sad. <laughs> I could turn your galter into a fish. Your 12 12 galter into a not one fish. Okay. I see it. <laughs> Come on then. Irrelevant Revelers, we got this. Relentless Pursuit, we got this as well. I think Slow it's down. We've got, sorry, we've gone Slow to the point down. Where we're getting... pin, your, pin your cards down. Pin them down. Although, I think we've got two of the same, but it looks. Lionfish. No. Yeah. Stinging Lionfish, 2 1 for 2. I think we've got a bit of glare there. Yeah, there we go. Whenever you cast a fish spell during each opponent's turn, you may tap or untap and target non land permanent. Shimmerwing Chimera. It's a 3 2 for 4. At the beginning. Uh, flying. Oh, we're, we're flying. At the beginning of your upkeep. Return up to two, uh, up to one other target cr enchantment you control to its owner's hand. Oh, we have Elspeth's nightmare. So we got, we got a saga. We got this last time. It's a saga. Though. I don't think we had this one. We, I think we did. Uh, destroy target. Stop banging. Can only bang it. Lose uh, destroy target creature and opponent controls with power two or less. That's the first one. Uh, uh, stage two. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-creature, non-land card from it. That player discards that card. We're gonna have to do this ASMR because it discards is discards it to, yeah. to the graveyard. Yeah, put it in the graveyard. Exile target opponent's graveyard is number three. Oh, that's nice. So the entirety of the graveyard, not just the card that went in it. That's very nice. Very nice. Uh, do I change from white to black? From green to black. You could go into green black. Oh no. Uh. Riff. We go. Shatter the sky. Is that a rare? Oh, it's a board wipe. It's a board wipe. It's like Zeus oh, when. You need to. It, uh, tried to. Well, it's not. It's Hades when he did Argon. Or Ar what is it? Argos in uh, Clash of Titans. There's a bunch of fire everywhere. Each player who controls a creature with four or great deck draws a card, then destroy all creatures. You play big dumb creatures, so you could play you could play the green, black and white. Get lots of creatures uh, with white, buff them up with green, and if they die, bring them back to black. Typically, white has got more. I think it's Derek. This technique's always working so well. They don't want us to get into this packet. <laughs> why don't they do it? What, why? If we get another foil demigod or something. Um, we won't be that lucky. So. The chances are stupid. Which we have. A goat. <laughs> Not one goat. Looks hard though. This should be a. F this should be a. Uh, five five goat. No, this is going to be. Land. I don't think so. Yes. No, it's not. It's a it's foil. A foil. We got this in normal version. That's that's true. Go fix that. I mean, yeah. Again, I like it's not it's not mega foily. I'll just stall. It's just um oh, watch watch your legs. 
So, flick of the feet, nice artwork. And it's two. Let's bring onto the board instant. Exile target creature on enchantment. Then return it to the battlefield and there uh, it's owner's control. I don't know. I'm still a bit confused with the exile and graveyard and, and all this sort of stuff. I think it's, that's probably because I mainly play green and um, I use my um, commander just to try and build up a big attack and hit hard. But uh, all these little into the graveyard, out of the graveyard type things that he's doing confusing at the moment for me so I don't know so I'll put that there and when he leaves it up he can talk about it a non shores land so so if I tap it adds colorless uh, uh, and if one and tap, add one mana of any colour. Hmm, okay. Blight Breath, Cartobble Pass. Creature Beast, so it's 3 2 for 6. Wow, 3 2 for 6. When Blight Breath, blah blah. Enters the power field target creature and opponent control gets minus X minus X until end of turn, where X is your devotion to black. That's, a, that's weird. That, that looks like. I don't know why that. It looks to you. You can, you can see this uh, purple sort of mark there. When I'm looking at it in under normal light, it doesn't seem to show up. That that is odd. I'm gonna ask you can you can check that one out. Deny the divine. That is uh, instant come to target creature or enchantment spell. If the spell is counted this counted this way, exile it instead of put it into the graveyard. That's the sort of thing he was he was playing today. Okay, Arena Trickster. This is 3-3 three, three for 4. Creature. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on this card. Not bad. I think that's, a, that's quite a good card. 4 mana though. Temple Thief. We've had that one already. Yeah. Thirst for meaning. We haven't had this, I don't think. So this is three mana cost. And it's an instant. Draw three cards, then discard two cards. Unless you discard an enchantment card. So look at the draw and what cards you pick up. Everything is the luck of the cards in this game. Underworld Rage Hound. 3 1 for 2. So, Underworld Rage Hound attacks each combat if able. Uh, he's got escape as well. And Underworld Rage Hound escapes with plus 1 plus 1 on it. Sestian train, uh, Setters in Training, I think we've had this before. And we've had Setters in uh, Tactics. Yeah, so. yeah, that was in uh, the Core 2020 set. Go and watch that. And give, them, give the videos a like. 
Transcendent Envoy. So this is a 1-2 for 2. And it has Fly In, which can be handy. Aura Spell Use Cast. Cost 1 less to cast. Again. I'll be learning more about that when I decide to pry myself away from green. Rise to glory. Sorcery. So this is one black, one white, and three generic. Choose one or both. Sorcery. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Or return target aura card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Or both. I think that's quite the height to, to cast that. Let's put that over there. We'll, we'll see what he thinks. Mystic Repeal. I think we've had that instant. One put target enchantment on the bottom of its owner's library. We've had that. Entrancing Liar. So, this is three mana. You may choose not to untap during the untap step. Okay. And for X, uh, untap target creature with power X or less. It doesn't untap during its control untap step for as long as in transient layer it remains tapped. Well, that's interesting. Okay, enchantment. And this costs blue, a blue, a green, and two generic. So enchantment at the beginning, at the beginning of your end step, you may sacrifice another enchantment. If you do, search your library for the creature card with converted mana cost equal to one plus the sacrificed enchantment's converted mana cost. Put that card onto the battlefield. Shuffle your library. And. Actually, I need to sleep that one. This is. I need to sleep that in incarnation. Which one? That one. But what is that? Because it's real. I don't know. Is it? I, I, don't know. I missed that. Oh, it was just a plain, plain. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Let's have a look at these by here. So. Start off with Are that we one. We'll go through them that way. Um, three, three, four, four. Human shaman. Whenever you cast your first spell during each opponent's turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on arena trickster. So each opponent's turn. Yeah. So when you cast a spell during each opponent's turn, each opponent's was a di uh, another player. So if I cast one on your turn. You get the plus one plus one. It says first, so when it gets one per opponent. Blight Breath, uh, Kerto will pass. If a 3-2 for 6, when it enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gets minus X minus X until end of turn. We X is your devotion to black. Good card. It's quite heavy on the mana. Yeah, but yeah, I think you get past that. You yeah, past it it's, worth, it's, worth, it's worth playing it. Uh, Enchanting Leer. You may choose to not... You may choose not to untap Enchanting, Enchanting Leer during your untap step. This is confusing for me. It's a three mana artifact. You get to pay X, tap, target... Uh, tap it and then tap target creature with uh, power X or less. It doesn't untap during its controller's untap step for as long as Enchanted Leer remains tapped. You can keep it tapped during your untap step. You do that once and if you don't untap it... Yeah, you just leave it untapped. The other untapped. one dies. The other one not, not dies but it stays tapped. You get to tap target creature with power X or less. 
and you pay X and you tap it. And you can you you may choose whether or not to untap. But why wouldn't they want to untap? Why wouldn't you want to untap? Mm. You would want to untap to do the ability yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you wanted to keep keep it untap, uh, keep it keep the target creature tapped, then you should leave it tapped. Okay. okay. I right get it. I get that. I get it. Uh, Orza, which is white, black with with three, uh, sorcery. Choose one or both. This looks good because it's got one or both. Return target creature from your graveyard uh, to the battlefield. Return target aura card from your graveyard to your battlefield. So if you have a creature and an aura, you can return them both. Hmm. Okay. Not, not bad card. Okay. Here we go. So that one feels a little bit heavier. How, what do you mean? I'm pretty sure there's 15 in each pack anyway. Including the foil? I, I don't know. That one opened oddly easily. Why did that open easy? Maybe it's the mice at the wizards. The mice at wizards. Yeah, because they have mice. They can afford to have mice in your company. Human sword. How many soldiers have we've we got? We've got lots. We've got enough for an army already. Um, I think. I, I think because right. because Poppy wants to play with the cards all the time. Yeah. I think we have to just give it tokens. just give it loads of to of soldiers. Uh, oh, we've foil, both got f foil escape velocity. We've we've had that card though before. Yeah, but is it in foil? Yeah, it's no, in foil no. Well, we get a lot of foils from Theros. Uh, I've been noticing that. So that looks beautiful in foil, because the electric is now um, well, sparks coming off the feet and now shining. Oh, <coughs> that's nice. Do you know the one I want to see in foil? Is that one with the the, the wolf with a claw going? Oh, yeah. It looks 3D then, doesn't it? Yeah. We've got a planes. Okay. Oaky Smoky. Oh, memory Dream. Counter Target Spell, Scry 2. Uh, Thaumaturge is familiar. We've already so, got this. So that was for 4. For 4. Mm. It's in for 4. Stampede Rider. It's a 2 3 for 3 with Trample. It's a Satyr. At the beginning of each combat, if you control a creature with power 4 or greater, Stampede Rider gets plus 1 plus 1 until end of turn. Satyr's Cunning. It's uh, a red, one red sorcery. Create a 1 1 red Satyr with this creature can't block. And you can escape it for 3 and exile 2 other creatures from your graveyard. Voracious Typhon. Already got it. Uh. Triumphant Surge. I think I, I, I'm going to take this uh, jumper off. Destroy target jumper. creature. Or hat. This hoodie. Okay. Uh, with power 4 or greater, you gain 3 life. Um, have we had that one already? Just so iconic. Yeah, I think we have because I said that would be horrible against me. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we've had that. Mayor's Grasp. So enchant creature, enchant creature gets minus three, minus three. Well, that's good for for a two mana. Yeah, quite. <coughs> Starlit mantle. <coughs> I've already got it. Uh, final flea. Uh, it's a three mana instant. An additional cost to casting a spell. Sacrifice a creature or enchantment. It deals five damage to target creature. So you know if you had the mirror engine, you know the. Of the Genesis Chamber that's creating all the 1 1 mode tokens. Yeah. If you had that and you sacrifice one of those, because each creature that comes in you get one, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. If you have one of these, sacrifice a moo, which is you came in free anyway, Yeah. and sac uh, pay that, and you deal 5 damage to target player, or to target creature. And most cards are average 3 or 4 anyway. If yeah. Uh, favoured of but you can but you can target, which is a big thing. Yeah. Favoured of Iroas. This constellation is a two two for three. Whenever an enchantment is about field in control, favoured of Iroas gains double strike at the end of turn. Cool. Double strike. Yeah. So double. Strikes twice. 
So if you, if Galata, or so strike, strike. Can, can I can I attack two targets, five, five or do I attack one with twice? Twice. So if a five five with double strike, attacks once. That's five. Attacks twice. No. Or if if it's blocked the first time, it can attack twice. No. Let me. You look at that card. So so on there. It's it's not a hole, right? Yeah. We had another card like this a couple of minutes ago, and I was like, um, I can't figure out why he was doing it, and. Was it, it, the, was it the uh, breath guy? Um, purple I, breath. This right. one. So these, this, this so card, these two cards. It's got purple. Normal, but it's this. It's very, very faint. But it, under that, under that camera, it, it's like it's almost, it almost glows. Yeah. If we look, if we look at these on on the desk, you can hardly see anything. I think it's because. Uh, Camera, we've got contrast and stuff up in the camera. And yeah, but it's it's still the rest. The rest of it's still fairly um, fairly good on the on the colours. I wonder if there's like a, a, spe a certain ink they use for that colour. I don't know. <laughs> that is a, that's something we'll never know. Right, oh. pass. Oh, what are your favourite colours last? Destiny spinner, two, three for two. Enchant creature, enchantment creature, human. It creatures and enchantments you uh, spells you control can't be counted. It should be you cast, can't be counted. Uh, it's pay four, target land you control becomes an XX elemental with trample and haste until the turn where X is the number of enchantments you control. It's still a land and you're on the last one. That's hard. Nylia's intervention. Uh, choose one. It's a, it's a green green X. Search your library for up to X land cards. Reveal them. Put them into your hand. Shuffle your library. Nylia's intervention deals uh, X damage to each creature with flying. I did the first one. Twice X to each creature with flying. I, I, I do the first mm. one. I suppose it depends on the situation. Yeah. If you need the cards. Like or one. whether or whether you got somebody who's gonna attack you with, with the with the choose ones they're like two cards in one so they're like two answers to different mm. things on one card okay right. try it to the next one yeah. so this is the last this is the last one of uh, oh, this match is pack number 18 so we're halfway through guys halfway through the first and we'll just do a little recap afterwards after this is the new set, Ikoria, Layer of Behemoths. Yeah. That's the box that got in the car. What? Just joking. I was about to say, you got Ikoria <laughs> troll, early. Troll. What? I was like, what? Shock, soldier. horror, another <laughs> human soldier. The entire box of human soldiers. Now, this is going to be... A foil or a land? That's going to be a land. We haven't had a land. We've had too many foils. If it's a foil, oh, okay. No. A foil, a foil island. Island. It's not a foil. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah. Shame, 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 shame. And just because we didn't have a foil doesn't mean it's not good. Doesn't mean we're not going to have a foil. Deny the divine. We've had that one, I think. Yeah. Yeah, deny the divine. Kind of target spell. Fruits of Tizerus. <coughs> Um, we have the whole lot actually. Tune to nature, good, good reprint. Um, this is a good, this is a, this is a good card. So, green, for me. Choose one, destroy a target artifact, destroy a target enchantment. Or, exile the target card from the graveyard. From a graveyard. Again, depends on the situation. Karametra's Blessing. Instant. For one, target creature gets plus two, plus two to end the turn. If it's an enchanted creature or enchantment creature, it also gains hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Indestructible. That was Andy. Mm -hmm. 
especially if it's you know instant for one I can't remember seeing this card this does, this does look familiar so it's for three enchantment enchanted creature enchanted creature can't attack or block or pay three and excel enchanted creature Hmm. Pretty good. Can't attack or block, so that basically and then re renders it useless. Renders it useless, but it has abilities still. It can use its tab abilities. Yeah, but it can't be but used can't in combat. No. But then that might be a not, not might not be a good thing. If you want, if you want, to, if, you, if, you, if you, yeah, if you want to play down the gold, you, you would. I couldn't do my. I couldn't use my gold for anything, so it would just come out of my life in a way, which is good, I suppose. What well, would come out anyway? If you attack me, yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't block with my gold. Morgus favor. Morgus's favor. Morgus's favor. Morgus's favor. Morgus's favor. Get a drink. Yeah. Morgus's favor. One black enchant creature. Enchant creature gets plus two. Minus one, and you can escape it for three and exile two other cards from your graveyard. Bronze sword. That was in the last episode. Nice art. Read it. <sighs> I was about to say read it and weep, but you don't need to weep because it's a common. Uh, pause the video and you can read it now. Ooh. Oh, we got it anyway. Riptide Tittle. It's a flash defender. Don't you dare make a Nemo joke. Whoa, dude. Dude, that's so totally radical, dude. Uh, that rocks. Uh, it's a 0 5 for 2 with Flash and Defender, so it can't, it can't attack. No need to defend. Underworld Ray Chant. 3 1 for 2. I think you did this one. Monster has it already. Uh, and he's Hunt Master. 4 3 for 4. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, uh, target creature you control. Gets X plus X plus zero. Oh, excuse me. Until end of turn, where X is your devotion to green. Okay. I saw that one. Yeah, you did. You just you were just bumping him to see that last card. I could just bump. And it's the last. last yeah, it is the last card of the half. Okay, where have we go. Impending doom. Read it. Read it, read it, read it, read it, read it. So that's kind of like, uh, that's kind of a, kind of a win loss. You get three th plus three plus three from it, and then it does three damage to like if creatures control them. But it's got attack. Yeah, but it's got attack. Uh, but when it dies, it deals three damage. Mischievous Kite, yeah, uh, Field of Ruin. Uh, it can either add one with an arrow, or you pay two, sacrifice it, and destroy a non basic land and opponent controls. Each player switches to the library for a basic land card, puts it on the battlefield, and switches the library and shovels the library. A Mischievous Chimera. Mischievous Chimera. Uh, when you cast your first spell, Mischievous Chimera. Deals one damage to each opponent. Squire one. It's a two two for two. One blue, one red. And with flying. Tectonic giant. I thought that was mythic then, but it's just the lightning. It's a three four for four. And when it attacks it or becomes a target of an opponent, of a spell of an opponent controls. Choose one. Tectonic giant deals three damage to to each opponent. Or exile the top two cards of the library, choose one of them until the end of your turn. You may play that card. So, pretty good. Actually, it's really good. It can either deal three damage to everyone when it comes to target with spell or attacks. And I bet that would be nice and foil. Yeah, with the, bl uh, the blazes and stuff yeah. on it. So, uh, that's not a bad, that's not a bad lot because we've had, we've pulled 11 
You pull 11 decent cards out of that last six. I think there's another one there. Right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> Hold up. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, you're right. So, so we we're looking towards sixty plus, I think, for this uh, this, this box compared to fifty with the core. I mean, core sets just reprints. It doesn't give you that good stuff because if they want you to buy more of it. Mm. I think that's the thing with everything like this. Yep. Okay. Okay, so there we are. So there's uh, twelve to eighteen, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video, uh, share it, share it as well, and um, yeah, come back and see the next uh, six packs. Right, bye. Adios.